Um, do you know what, guys? Welcome to just a little insight about the chore debts. So we're going to go on Wikipedia and find some information about the chore debts because we found we found that song nice and fun. Yeah. And now we're interested in finding out about these beautiful women. That's do you know it. what I mean? What they done in their career? Um, do you know like? How was their like personal life? Things like that. If Wikipedia's got everything, then we're gonna give you that information. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Hope they're still with us. Yeah. Hopefully they are mate. Right. Let's go. Okay. This is on um, Wikipedia. The Chordettes were American female popular singing quarter quartet. Okay. Usually singing a um, cappella. Uh, it's it's really pronounced a cappella. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, so they, they mostly do, like, a cappella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? See? Do you wow. know what, lad? That's what I love. I love, like, see, back then. See, it's just about the talent. It's about the voice. Mm. They want you to They want you to pay attention to their singing, what they're singing about, mm. and everything, instead of so many things going on, lad. Mm. Do you know what I mean? See, like, if that... What well, you're saying is yeah. acapella, lad. Yeah. It's great. It must have been hard to get into the music industry before, though, back then. Yeah, the but now... Because you need a good voice. Now you can just sound robotic. Lad, you know no, now, do you know, like... And we've talk got, gibberish. We've got everything now, yeah. do you know what I mean? We've got, like, the internet, the social medias, everything. Mm. We're, we're just so privileged. We've got everything, lad. We yeah. don't need to go out there and do it. We can just sit in front of our camera... In front of our laptop yeah, and, and, it, yeah. and everything, do you know what I mean? Beautiful. Yeah. So, lads, that's why they've got great voice. Yeah. They, they, they want you to hear, hear their voice yeah. with the a cappella. So, cappella, that's what they said, and specialising in traditional popular music. They are best known for their songs, Mr. Sandman and Lollipop. Lollipop. Lolly, 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 We just sung that before. So, um, if you want to see Mr. Sandman, make sure this video gets like 1,000 or plus likes so we know you appreciate the video. You know what I mean? Let's so we can move in to the 1, next one. 1,000 likes? That's absolutely too much. I'm being greedy there. <laughs> 1,000 likes? You'd be, you, you be surprised if we even get 1,000 views. <laughs> never mind 1,000 likes. Sleeping on us. Anyway, forget about that. We're, we're focusing yeah. on um, just chore then. Do you know what I mean? So let's go on the career. The group organised in she in Bogan, Wish Cousin, in 1946. The original member of the group were Johnny Ertel, Alice May Butchman, Spy, Spiel Vogel, Dorothy Dotty, um, Hermes um, Schwartz, and Ginny Osborne, Loch Lockhart. April 25, 1927, May 1923. Oh, I think they passed away. Yeah, probably, lad. Alice Spielvogel was replaced by Carol Butchman. His Is sister-in-law? Bushman, his sister-in-law. 1947, 1952, Lynn Evans, knee, Hargate, May 2nd. Same day as my birthday, oh. May 2nd. 1924, so February the 6th, 2020. Oh, this is recent? So, she's passed away just recently. February, lad. Yeah. Well, rest in peace. But it could be passed away or she's probably left the group as well. Nah, lad, it's passed away. Right. Please. Definitely. All right. Re replaced um, Shaw, Shaw Watts, as Evan described in a 2015 interview, and in 1953, Margie Needham replaced Osborne, who was having a baby. Though Osborne later returned to the group, Nancy Overton also was a member of the group at a later time. Originally, they sang folk music in the style of the Weavers, but eventually changed to a harmonising style of type known as barbershop harmony or close harmony, part of this change seems to be influenced by Osborne's father. Wow. So they change the style in the music and the sound and everything. Mm. By, you know, like the influence yeah. of the father, do you know what I mean? So, 
He was present for uh, 1946 and 1963. Yeah, wow. So, you don't need a thing for a bit, do you know what I mean? London. London. But anyway, um, let's stay on the topic. Like, see, the that's it. Sometimes, you know, like, you got to dip in and dive in different, you know, like, you might first thing this sound, what you start off with, it sounds good. Yeah. But it's not the proper sound that really... That on. you know that you've really got in you, you've probably got even a better sound. Yeah. It's, you just need to search and just, um, do you know, like really find it out. Do mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Well, like definitely. really dig more deep and do like play with your vocals, do different, like whether it's different, you know, instruments, yeah. different instrumentals and all that. Do you know what I mean? To yeah. so really get your voice doing different ways of yeah. working. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So. That's what they've done anyway. Jenny Osborne was born in Seattle, Washington. She was born Virginia Cole, the daughter of O.H. King Cole, who was president, well, 1948 wow. to 1949, of the Barbershop Harmony Society, then known as Speeb, Speeb's QSA, and Catherine Flach. After performing locally, in she Boyong, she <laughs> she Bogan, they won an Orthy God M Godfrey's radio, Godfrey's radio program Talent Scouts. In 1949, they held feature status of Godfrey's daily program, and then they recorded several 10-inch EPs wow. from Columbia Records. In 1953, Godfrey's music director and orchestra leader Archie Blea founded. Um, Cadence Records. He signed a number of God, a number of Godfrey regulars and former regulars, including the Chordette, who had a number one hit record records of Candice. Um, the biggest hit was Mr. Sandman oh, in 1954. Oh. Archie Blair himself is one is on that record along with the group. Players um, stripping the sound down, the better not to clutter the girls' voices. They also hit number two with 1952 Eights Lollipop and also charted with a vocal version of the theme from Disney Zorro. Wow. US it, it hashtag 17 it was on. Wow. Reach 1959 and the film Never on Sunday, US hit number 13. 1961, other hits for the um, for the group included Eddie, My Love, Born to Be With You, Lay Down Your Arms, and Just Between You and Me. In 1957, their cover of The White Rose of um, Athens hit the Australian Top 15 in May 1962 with the US single In the Deep Blue Sea was one, mu- one week music vendor. vendor entry four months later. Wow. 128. Janet. She married uh, Janet Ertel married Blair in 1954. Her daughter Jackie married another Candice recording star Phil oh, Everly Brothers. of the Everly Brothers. Whoa! Wow. So we had daughter married uh, someone in the music industry and it was the, wow. the Everly Brothers. That's mad. The um, Chaudet appeared on American Bandstand on August 5, 1957, the first episode of the show to be broadcast nationally on the ABC television network. In 1961, Ginny Osborne again left the group, unable to find a replacement with whom they were happy. The group um, disbanded in 1963. So it's due to part of the way. Yeah, because they couldn't find yeah. a replacement in wow. everything. She must be special, lad. Lad, so much, lad. Recent ventures and all that. Yeah, there's a deaths. Let's go. Um, deaths. Alice May Butchman Spielvergen died in 1981 oh. and is buried at Little Rock National Cemetery. Janet Ertel Blair died in 1988. Wow. Ginny Osborne, later known as Ginny Janice, died in 2003. Wow. Nancy Overton died on April 5th, 2009 after a long battle with esophageal cancer or something. Oh. I don't know how to pronounce the word, guys. Dorothy Dottie Amzes 
um, shorts died on April 4th, 2016. Wow. Um, Lynn Evans, man, died on February 6th, 2020. Right. At the age of 95, wow. mate. Oh, rest in peace rest to all them. Do you know what? They've done so much. Do you know wow. what I mean? Achieved so much. They left yeah. the legacy behind, do you know what I mean? And do you know what? It's going to continue. See, it was, we're, look, we're a different generation. Mm. We've just, do you know... We've just come past their way and look, we're impressed yeah. and we've gone through everything. Do you know what I mean? And it's amazing, lad, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Do you know what I mean? What have they done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight albums oh, as well. Eight albums. Hopefully, we'll get some more songs of do you know the tour that's It was amazing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We hope you learn something new and support this video as well. Yeah. Um, we hope you've learned something new about the tour decks yeah. that you didn't know. Do you know what I mean? And we hope you've enjoyed it. We thank you for watching. Until next time. Oh, well. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.